This, you know what I like about this? What you like? Through the hood, I keep hearing niggas say, I'm, I'm supposed, supposed to die tonight. tonight. Welcome back to the channel once again, fam. The man accused of shooting and robbing rapper Lil TJ was also shot during Wednesday's bloody incident at an Edgewater retail mall, according to a police report. The botched robbery attempt also involved an accomplice, who, guess what, was also shot. The two tried to escape despite their wounds, but their escape plan was foiled since they are now apparently in the custody of the authorities. According to the probable cause affidavit filed by police, Mohammed Kanadi, 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 whatever, 27, was discovered and arrested at a New York City hospital with many gunshot wounds after the 12.04 a.m. incident. Also according to police, an unidentified accomplice fled the scene in a white BMW with the injured Kanadi, Kanadi, whatever, and was subsequently caught on security cameras being dropped off in front of Lenox Hill Hospital on the Upper East Side at 12.29 a.m. According to a witness, Kanadi was shot and then dragged into the BMW. I made my mind up with Kanadi, so sue me. Prosecutors charged Kanadi, a New York City resident, with attempted murder, armed robbery, and firing at little TJ, as well as Jeffrey Valdez and Antoine Boyd, who were with him. According to the complaint, one of the victims told police that Kanadi approached their red Dodge Durango, pointed a gun at him, and demanded that they hand over their jewelry. Also according to the authorities, two Nike sneakers were located at the scene. Kanadi's footwear was not seized by New York police officers, who instead took his apparel from the hospital. According to the police, I keep saying according to everybody, but you know how I gotta do it. Similar mulch was located on Kanadi's shirt and in a flower bed in the parking lot where the shooting occurred. Boyd was also shot once, and he was charged with improper weapon possession alongside Valdez. According to prosecutors, according to Cartier, both are being held at the Bergen County Jail. And I promise this is the last according to, but according to the affidavit, TJ was shot many times in the thoracic cavity, which houses the heart and lungs. Biology class. But anyway, prayer definitely goes out for little TJ in hopes that he does make a recovery, and regardless of which side of the fence that you tend to lean on whose fault it is or whatever, loss of life just never is good for anybody. Not for these reasons. But, yeah, I've beat y'all down enough with uh, my caring too much, because trust me, it's sincere. But either way, we'll go out the old-fashioned way. We've been I Got The Dirt TV. You guys have been great as always. Be sure to keep it locked here for the latest stories, the latest breaking news, and the latest updates. And we'll be sure to keep you updated with just that. But be sure to be safe at all times. Until next time, and we'll see you then. Peace.